Post, new at six, a county jail at the center of an ABC 15 investigation is now facing a fourth claim alleging mistreatment of inmates with mental illnesses. The ABC 15 investigators continuing to expose cruel and unusual punishment inside the Gila County Jail. In one case, an inmate was denied running water for days and ended up drinking toilet water. In another case, jail staff failed to release a mental health patient to treatment despite a judge's order. I think you're touching on uh, one of the great injustices in our, in our criminal justice system. The latest family says the jail staff failed at their responsibility to provide proper care to a man with schizophrenia. Anthony Lee Stewart was held there for more than three months and died after hanging himself in his cell. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius has new information on why Anthony's mom believes jail employees are to blame for his suicide. Photos of a beloved son, brother, and friend, 23-year-old Anthony Lee Stewart. These photos are all his mom has left. She's afraid. I mean, she's 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 still processing. She's still um, trying to figure out, you know, what happened. She's still uh, probably feeling a little guilty, thinking maybe. She could have done more. According to police, jail, and court records obtained by ABC 15, Anthony was arrested in January for allegedly shoplifting from a Walmart and trying to hit an off-duty officer working security in his car. After Anthony was taken into custody, his mom says she tried to tell authorities her son needed his medication for schizophrenia. Uh, Valerie is adamant that she was uh, religiously calling trying to get her son some help. This notice of claim, a precursor to a lawsuit, alleged the jail fails to follow rules from the National Commission on Correctional Health Care. It claims Anthony did not get proper psychiatric drugs, mental health visits, nutrition, and supervision, ending with him trying to take his own life twice in two weeks. Anthony Stewart died April 21st after being found unconscious in his cell. The jail claims everything's still under investigation and isn't giving us any information. The ABC 15 investigators exposed prior cruel and unusual punishment inside the Gila County Jail against other people diagnosed with mental illness. Tamara Barneycoat was denied running water and medication and was held without charges for 27 days. Memory burns deteriorated in a cell for weeks after jail staff failed to release her to a mental Mental health facility despite a judge's order and Jean Chad Beeson died by suicide on Christmas Day 2018. He was hearing voices and jail staff skipped checking his cell. The Stewart's lawyer says it's a pattern. Most of the inmates in jail are awaiting trial. They're, they're considered innocent um, because they haven't been proven guilty and they're not receiving the medical care that they'd be receiving on the other side of the wall. And now this family, with so many unanswered questions, feels there's only one recourse. They ask for a $1.5 million settlement in the wrongful death case. Six months ago, I reached out to the Gila County Sheriff's Office asking for detailed jail records for Anthony Stewart, including documents that would show his mental health care as well as his supervision behind bars. Those records were mostly denied, citing an ongoing internal investigation. ABC 15 followed up with the Gila County Sheriff's office, the county attorney and their outside legal counsel last week. At this point, they have not commented on the notice of claim nor on whether that internal investigation has concluded. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.